Where are we? Yep. Greenock Pub. Greenock Pub. <laughs> Just arrived in the Barossa Valley. And why are we at the pub? We dropped the van, walked three minutes, came to the pub. <laughs> why are we supporting the pub? Because there's an awesome donation camp right in town, three minutes walk up the road. So you should spend money in the town. We couldn't be bothered to do lunch. So pub's doing lunch. <laughs> taken a trip to one of the little towns in the Barossa because I heard about the best pizza in Australia apparently and they had the best gluten-free pizza so we're on it but that's it there $66 for two pizzas <laughs> thanks babe anyway let's give it a whirl Barossa Valley Chocolate Company and uh, we're doing the sorbet and chocolate tasting pairing. So far, so good. Well, you know how it goes. This uh, peach and mango sorbet is bloody delicious. Right. <laughs> you can see it's finished. <laughs> uh, really delicious. What do you think, man? Very good. This morning in the Barossa, uh, we've driven to Freeling, which is home of the McLeod's daughters. So yes, I am old enough to know McLeod's daughters. <laughs> Watched it when I was younger. Um, and so we stopped in at the Gungalan pub, had a drink, and um, checking out the sights of uh, Freeling and the memorabilia of McLeod's daughters. So if you're in the Barossa area, it's only 10 minutes away from um, Greenock, where the cheap camp is. Definitely worth um, checking it out if you're into if you used to watch McLeod's Daughters. Having a bath in the McLeod's Daughters bar. <laughs> bath under the stars, apparently, is what they used to do. What type of grapevines do they have? Wine grapevines. Oh, cool. Because they make wine. Wow. Yeah. And what are the barrels for? For the grapes to go in, so, so and that's what turns them into wine. Cool.
Good morning. Um, we are staying with some friends at Williamstown, which is in the southern part of the Barossa. Um, and they are taking us to Mount Pleasant uh, Farmers Market this morning. It's a Saturday morning here, and that's one that they go to every Saturday and get all of their fresh fruit and veg. Um, so we're heading off to that, and then we're going to go through, come kind of on a triangle back um, via Goomachera. Goomachera, Goomachera. Oh, let me double check that, hang on. Gamaracha, maybe? Um, and to see the big rocking horse. Um, so we've heard it's a great and it's big, so we're going to check that out as well this morning um, before we're actually heading into Adelaide. So we'll come back, pick up the van and then head into Adelaide. I'm not sure what I'll show you if I remember to film or what, but that's what we're up to today. Adelaide International. I uh, just happened to turn up today and the men's semi-final of Djokovic and Medvedev is on tonight so there's tickets available. They're dodgy tickets but they're tickets. <laughs> um, and so we're just walking in from the Adelaide Caravan Park which is right in town walking through the Botanic Gardens to the tennis. Shall be interesting because the men's match doesn't start till 8.30 which is after Aria's bedtime but whatever. It's a cool opportunity. Pump. Yeah. Pumped. Pumped? Pumped yes. as I get. <laughs> from Adelaide Caravan Park. Um, we've just spent a couple of days here, I think it was three nights, and um, it's been stinking hot. We haven't really done a whole lot. <laughs> Wandered into the city and had some lunch and a wander around Rundle Street Mall, the tennis as you saw. Um, that's about it really, because it's, it's been like 36 degrees. So it's been one of those moments of we just, it's been too hot to do anything, so we've just hung out at the pool here <laughs> as well. Um, uh, so a quick update on this one. It's dog friendly. It's right in the city. It's the closest to the city. It has a beautiful walk in town. Sites are tiny. Tiny, tiny. Look at this. This is a good example. This is just 
a pop toppy thing and it only just fits on the site they've had to park their car pretty much under their awning because the sites are tiny so make sure you tell them your size before you get here otherwise you probably won't fit we've had to go over the back of ours awning and then luckily we're on a corner and we could park the truck on the other side um, otherwise the truck wouldn't fit anywhere um, because we are literally tow ball um, pin um, on the edge and hanging over at the back and the awning took up the extra side to space so um, can't remember how much it was we had booked this one ages ago really sorry about that um, has a pool playground next door amenities that kind of thing um, my only thing would be customer service could be improved I felt like I was an inconvenience when I went to the office um, for anything so um, you know give or take if you want to be really close to the city just be, keep in mind maybe could improve the customer service just a smidge um, so it's always good if you come with those expectations um, rather than expecting something else and getting something else um, it is only small if you are wanting to come probably try and if it's peak season like it's peak season here maybe try and book in advance um, yeah we booked this one a couple of months ago and we only and we couldn't extend um, to try and ride out the hot weather so had to just do what we had to do um, yeah anyway don't think there's much else I can tell you about it if there's anything else you need to know just let me know and um, we are off for more adventures <laughs>
Gardens. Whew. We parked at the upper car park. That's good and bad. It's good because like it gives you an overview looking down. It's bad because you walk down to the bottom and you gotta walk back up to the top. There's about eight different paths up and down, so you could do eight laps up and down, but I mean no, if you're a psycho. <laughs> Uh, we did one lap down and one lap up, and it was more than enough hurting. Ooh. Yeah, um, so we think you're probably better off to park at the lower car park and walk up to as far as you kind of can handle or whatever, and then have an easy run back down. Um, and also make sure you get a map because their signage is horrendous. <laughs> They have little brochures. They have little, yeah, little brochures at the entrance, and um, we needed it the whole time to make sure we were going the right way and not just looping. It's free entry, paid parking. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs>